Hello, uh, how to check the alternator? Put the multimeter at 20 volt DC. First, check the battery. It should be around 12.6 volt. Okay, good. Put the multimeter at a low range AC volt. Start the engine, increase the RPM to 1500. Then check if there is more than 0.5 AC volt. If you have more than 0.5 AC volt, then you have a bad alternator. If there is more than 0.5 AC volt, it will start damaging the electronic components and the battery. Zero point zero two AC volt is very good. It's called an alternator because it produces AC current and then convert it to DC current by direct to fire, so it shouldn't leak more than zero point five AC volt. Then put the multimeter on twenty DC volt and no matter how much you increase the RPM, it shouldn't produce more than fifteen volts. This is fixed voltage alternator controlled by a regulator and not a smart variable alternator controlled by the ECU. This test is not for a smart alternator. Put the multimeter leads on the battery cables and then on the battery terminals. It should be about the same voltage. If not, there is a voltage drop and there is a corrosion on the terminals. Good, it's about the same voltage. Now I will increase the RPM. It shouldn't be more than 15 volt. Now I will turn the accessories on, the headlight, the fog light, the AC, the fan, and I will increase the RPM to 1500. The voltage output shouldn't be less than 13.5 now checking the alternator diode if it's good or draining the battery to perform this task, the alternator shouldn't be receiving any current from the battery. Disconnecting the battery, starting from the negative first. Put the multimeter on a diode mode. Connect the multimeter leads, one to the B plus post on the alternator and the other to the case. One way you should get a reading between 0.2 and 1.3 dropping voltage, depending on the diode type. The other way should be a very high resistance or OL. Here, OL is good. Now, checking the voltage drop of the cables to see if they are good and passing current efficiently. If there is more than 0.5 voltage drop, then track the cables if they are loose or there is corrosion. Turn the engine on and the headlights, fog lights and the AC. Set the multimeter on 2V DC. Put one lead of the multimeter on the positive terminal of the battery and the other on the B plus pole of the alternator. Now put one lead on the negative terminal of the battery and the other to the alternator case. Okay. 
If you have more than 0.5 voltage drop, in most cases the problem will be between the battery terminals and the cables. If this is the case, you should clean them. Here there is no voltage drop. If your alternator is not charging, first check if it is receiving power from the battery. Turn the ignition key to on and check if it is receiving power. Check your alternator wiring diagram, at least one of these should have power. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and thank you for watching.